You nervous? I'm already regretting this. What I love happening? this huge microphone. <laughs> I think it's me. It's a great little sticky bit. I can barely see it. Hello, is this thing on? <laughs> so the bit is called Burning Questions, and I ripped this from another defunct daytime talk show in the U.S. <laughs> to fill time for our digital commercials. So I'm going to ask you a series of five questions, and they each get more salacious as we go on. Okay? Are we allowed to, like, bow out? Are we allowed to bow out, small microphone? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can bow out at any time, but whoever goes the furthest wins. I'm D, he's funked. Let's go. <laughs> Question one, have you ever passed gas on air? On air, no. Hell yeah! It's <laughs> <laughs> happened. See, have I been beside you? No. I didn't see I've been by, it. Uh, only by myself. Only by myself oh in the same. Oh my god. Yeah. You made it to your 20 degree question. So this is 40 degree question. Have you ever called a guest the wrong name? I'm sure I have. I don't recall. Have I? Probably. Probably. <laughs> I've had trouble with names. <laughs> Does calling the guests by their character name in a show count? Yeah. Yes. Then I did that. Plus, you once said shart in the dark instead of shot in the dark. <laughs> what are we doing here? That wasn't the question. Okay, now we're going to 60 degrees. Okay, you ready? What's the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you on air? Oh my gosh, do you have an hour? I'm going to say, what's the most embarrassing thing? There's oh, so wow. many. There's a lot. <laughs> um, how do we just come up with this? I once got stuck in the little bubble ball that's supposed to be a fun time. <laughs> Tracy knows she's filming this Tracy P. And I couldn't uh, get back up because I have no abs. So I fell down and I was legit stuck, by the way. And I bled inside the bubble oh, ball. Oh, Oh, I think saying shart in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys have passed 60 degrees. Whoa. On to 80 degrees. Who is your favorite BT staffer that isn't me? Who and why? That isn't you? That's not me. Wow, I'm presumptuous? Yeah. <laughs> Even if we could have included you. Would Even you if you could have. But unfortunately, for this bit, you I'm can't. I'm not kissing up for Tracy P, baby. <laughs> You're not BT staff. <laughs> Do you go? Let me think. Wow, Cass just walked up here. Sam's oh, in the oh, background. Um, even with Cass giving me a dirty look right now, I have to say Renna because I work oh. with her very closely each and every day. And if I don't say that, she will make me sound like a dummy on television. So I have to say Renna. I'm going to sure. say Cass because she's small, but she scares me. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last one. You made it to the 100 degree question. Oh. This is it. Oh. Who is your all-time least favorite guest to date? No, you are not asking us this question. Wow. Time out! You're out? You're out. out. You're Devo, if you answer this, you win. It lives online, just so you know. So I'm going to say my least favorite guest to date was when we had this guy, Nick Holland. <laughs> Give it to you. I'm going to take a shark in the dark and yeah. say that was well played. Way to go. Good job, D. Good job. You went. Congrats. You know. Love you. <laughs> That's the end of the bet. What? What do you want to say? Small microphones, big mouth. <laughs>